congratulations, late side semi finalist. How does that feel? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, uh, I was dead and buried there. So I was like, ah, yeah, enjoyed the game. Sh showed what I can do the last four sets. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the, the next challenge. It's, a, it's another one of them games where it's just another step to Sunday. And went 3-0 be, behind in that day. However, in the first two sets, you had opportunities to take the sets. You're feeling coming in at that first interval and then the second interval when you threw one. My, my, my finishing was terrible. And it's, my finishing is the strongest part of my game. From 200 down, my setup play and my, my finishing. Um, so, yeah, I come in after two sets and I, I didn't really know what I'd done wrong. I, I knew I'd missed some doubles, but can't take it away from Jim. Jim was hitting, nailing it. Just whenever, whenever he was there, he was banging it, you know what I mean? And I kind of got my head down a wee bit and then he took the third one. I took the fourth one, came back out and my manager more or less threatened me. <laughs> so uh, I, I went out and I... I I speeded the game up a bit, and once I speeded the game up, and I get into my rhythm, and I give it a wee bit of a snarl, and yeah, after that there, I didn't look back, I knew I wasn't losing, even even at 3-1 down, I knew I wasn't losing, and I walked out after the fourth, or the second interval, and I walked up to Charlie, and I says, you're going to be here for the last set, and he just pulled me out there, and he says, hey, he did say that there. It wasn't a prediction, though. <laughs> you, but you do love a prediction. You do love a prediction. And throughout the game as well, what we saw is probably what we've seen throughout the tournament from you, that 180 and there was 12 in that game from you, and also prolific on that tops then. Not so much early on, but it certainly come back, and that top seated. How important was that? And did your confidence grow more and more on that finishing? I, I, I couldn't have bought a double top today, this morning. I, 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 even the 10s were terrible as well. And as I say, that, that's a strong part of my game, but... It's all about getting that fluency and just a natural rhythm. I'm, I'm one of the guys, I would practice at home with my earphones in. So it's, it's you get the music going, you get the rhythm going. Um, I had an hour session this morning with Stephen McKibben from Assured Hypnotherapy, who's my main coach. And everything that he said, I was standing up there putting it through my head. And yeah, do you know, when I was three out three nil down, and then I got up on top of the on the fourth set, I kind of was standing behind Jim. You probably see it. I was kind of giving him a dirty look behind his back, just going, y "You're not taking money out of my kids' mouths, you know, or food in my kids' mouths, you know." And that that you kind of have to look for something that motivates you and drive you when you are in a hole. And thank goodness I I, I came out of it okay there. And but I'll I'll go out and I'll have a drink with Jim, and uh, I think he's off to Barnsley this weekend then. So. Uh, yeah, I'm still here. And just just a word on Jim. Obviously, you mentioned um, prior to this time doubles partners, a lot of respect for each other. Just a word on Jim's part in that game and what a person that Jim is. He's, he's, he, listen, he's a, he's a Scottish legend. He, he's going. He will he will be remembered always as a great Scottish dart player. Um, he's he's out there. He's older than me, and he's doing the business. As he's got the complete game. I think once I started giving it the heroics and giving it a bit of a boom, that's whenever he started to feel it. The more confident I got, I think the more he started to question it in his own head. But he's a quality player, absolute quality player. You, you know yourself, he's done good, good things to PDC and that as well. And, and I'll, I'll always wish him all the best. He's still my pair's partner, so he's still speaking to me. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, yeah. Listen, I, I love Jim the bits. I love Gail. We we, we sit together when we're on tour, and uh, and I think we'll always be friends. But you know yourself, you go up there. You, once you walk on that stage, it's, you, you're you're there for a reason, and just the same as him. There's no malice. There's no bad feeling. Um, we walk off there holding hands. And now looking forward, uh, semi-final against either Brian Romano, Richard Beanstrass, or you've got either number one seed coming into this or someone who's set a late side record yesterday. Your thoughts going into that semi-final? That's the number one seed who's never beat me. I think the number one seed who lost the national, sing national singles and Killarney as well, I think. Well, I don't care. Seeds mean nothing. I, I've actually learnt that there during the tour this year because you can be the number one seed and you can go out and draw 
anybody and, and get your wing flipped. That means nothing. It just means that there's 16 guys it's on different boards. I play my game. I don't play the player. Uh, if you watch it back, I, I, my, my head goes down whenever they're throwing. I couldn't tell you what they're throwing. Kenner probably did with the first two sets with Jim because when he's banging two trebles and you hear it in the crowd, that's when you know. And I go, oh. and I go, oh, he's, he's in the game, so you know. But uh, no, I don't, I don't care who I play. I've, 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 I've beat Fran and I've beat Rich. They're two good guys. It'll be a fast and furious fin or quarter final. But they have to beat me. And, and throughout the week, you've spoke about that into the latter stages, getting to the final, going on predicted that you'd go on and win it. You also mentioned that there's a lot of support coming over. How important would they be for your success this weekend? Massive, absolutely massive. There's, there's actually, we've, we've got a few of the Northern Irish have landed last night. Um, it's, it's getting a wee bit tight for flights coming out, but hopefully there'll be a good crowd in this weekend. Um, you'll know who they are. You'll not have to have them pointed out to you, put it like that there, you know. But, yeah, it's always nice to have. But but I think I actually had more fans out there than what Jim did. A lot of even a lot of the English and a lot of the Welsh. And I could hear them all. And like I said before, I feed off that. So I do. So the more I give them to the 180s and they give it straight back to you. And it, listen, it just makes for a great game. And then just one last question from me. Obviously, moving into a semi-final, no we move to best of nine. You've predicted an awful lot this week. <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. I, I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to predict the score. I'm not even getting railroaded into it. I will predict that I'll be there on Sunday night. But I did predict that from the start anyway. I told you the, the planets have collided, and, and it's, it's already written. So if you get the engraver busy there, I'll still be here. Sure, there's no prediction. No prediction. You're not real. No, I'm not doing it. No. Well done today, mate. Well done. <laughs> <laughs>